TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. Um, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family. Ah, from Chicago to the UK. Uh, I was doing a sound check. I don't know why my shit was unplugged just now. But anyway, uh, the Deadly War in Camden, Camden, Active Gang versus 51st. 51st is not ringing a bell if there's any rappers from there, but I'm pretty sure once it gets a, a video get the plan, I'm going to be reminded of who's from there. So let's get into it. YouTube, I'm going to let y'all know right now I do not condone or or glorify any of what's, what I'm about to react to. I'm just giving my point of view as a Chicago person. And if y'all wonder why I throw the thumbs up, because YouTube, like, they like the thumbs up. Two men have been stabbed to death in two separate attacks in Kentish Town in North London last night. The body of the first victim, believed to be in his late teens, was found a couple of hours before police discovered the second victim, who's thought to be in his 20s. Camden, the heart of fashion and culture in London, with some of the most expensive house prices and biggest tourist attractions in England. And from the outside in, it looks like the perfect place to live. But that's what the government wants to show you. Once we go deep... Deeper into the lower income estates of the borough, we start to see a different story. A story of the country's most deprived estates in London being separated from roads of millionaires literally by one street, and how these estates have created a deadly gang war which has taken over the borough in recent years. But before I get into the video, be sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications. Let's get into the video. Is Kid Nerd again? Apparently, Kid Nerd, you get a lot of the facts wrong, but I said I wouldn't know. Because I don't know none of the facts. I don't know if it's real or not. That's what the comments is for. So y'all continue to let me know in the comments what's, what's true and what's not. So Camden is a borough in northwest London and is very, very close to the centre of London. But despite the area being so close to the rich centre of the capital, in the last few years, the war in the area has been going brazy. So historically, unlike neighbouring areas like Islington and Brent, Camden's beef situation hasn't been as active as others. But this all changed around 2016, when a man from Camden called Merce had his watch stolen from another man from another area in Camden. After this, there were some... Back and forth, which resulted in a big rivalry in the borough, literally between groups of kids that grew up together. One side being gangs built up from a few estates in Camden, which were the Peckwater Gang from the Peckwater Estate, the QC Gang, which were from a road in Camden called Queen's Crescent, and Cumbo, which is a gang made up from an estate called Regent's Park in Cumberland Market. They linked up together and called themselves 51st, due to their postcodes being... Okay, 51st is Peckwater, QC, and Cum... 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 Okay. Combo. In NW1 Go and the NW5, come, come, come. which is where the 5 and the 1 come from. And from the other side of the feud, we have a gang called Active Gang, where some people may know from their songs, and they're from the Ager Grove estate in Camden. And Active Gang are affiliated with another they gang called CT1 them? and NRB, which they all linked up and called themselves 71st. 71st. And just like that, the war was now on between 51st and 71st over this watch being stolen. So Camden is actually home to a big Somalian community. What? With a Hold on. Over a watch? Uh, was it a G-Shock, a bust down Rolly? Was it a Patek, uh, 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 a watch? I get it, it's principal in the hood, that's principal. You can't let that slide, but damn. The older should have got together and just shut up that, man. That's tough. I know life was lost in this beef right here. Over a watch. Y'all... A big portion of them residing in Ager Grove, which is the territory of the 71st gang. Such a big community that the majority of 71st members are actually Somalian. And if you watched one of my previous videos on Mali Strip, Somalian people are people you don't want to be messing with, which you will understand more in this video. And this beef was on goal from early. In 2017... When they said that, yeah, now I know why I was over a them, them Somali, them, them Somali niggas ain't letting that go. Sure. <laughs> two members of the AG gang, which represents 71st, executed a triple shooting on three 51st members. Two of the members ran to a nearby hospital, but while hospital staff was treating the two members, they also called police to the hospital to investigate the situation. Once the two realized the police was called, they didn't even care about their treatment anymore, and attempted to run out of the hospital while still having bullet wounds lodged in them. But the police ended up detaining them and arresting them after a 
struggle between the both. The reason they wanted to run was because all three members of they were actually wanted for suspicion of grievous bodily harm, which all three were eventually arrested for. Now, of course, 50 first weren't happy about this triple shooting, and they were trying to get her back in blood. So they went lurking on the Ego. I ain't even gonna lie, kid, I felt that Chicago plug. I felt it. It was a poo shiesty lyric, but. You know, you threw a Chicago nigga in, man. I felt it. Brother State. And shot a rival in the face with a shotgun. The rival actually... In the face? He managed to survive and make his own way back to hospital. My boy got shot in the face with a... With a... With a... And lived? He deserves to live. That's a... That's a... That's a... That's a zombie... That's a... That's a... That's a... That's a... That's a... That's a Ground zero zombie, that boy is not, that is y'all leader now. Fuck. But this beef really kicked off in a situation that wasn't even. <laughs> your purchase could be free when you use your Credit Karma Visa debit card. Free groceries. Free. The link to both of the guys. Don't do that. So Don't do that to my ads, y'all. February 2017, a 16-year-old girl had an Airbnb party in Kensington, West London. You know those type of parties where a girl invites seven different types of gangs and asks people to leave their beef at home? Yeah, one of those. So at this party, there were people from all over London, yeah. but a few uninvited guests tried to pull up to the party. One of these people being a boy from 51st called Dotty and his friend, who pulled up to the party with a gun and knife looking for trouble. But the night turned left for Dotty and his friend, and ended up with Dotty being chased down by 20 young boys. And when the boys caught up to him, they stabbed him 13 times altogether. It actually resulted in Dotty dying, which four 16 year old boys from Hackney and Tottenham were sentenced and convicted for. So 51st were mad about this situation, obviously, that their member Dotty was just stabbed to death. So they were out trying to get revenge. So they went out. So the score is 3 2 for revenge in a stolen BMW and travelled all the way from Camden in North West London to Hackney in East London and then to Tottenham in North London because that's where the people who killed Dotty were from but they ended up finding no one from both areas but they weren't trying to go home without spilling some blood first so 51st went all the way back to Camden to look for 71st members and found an affiliate member of 71st called AK and killed him but they weren't done there they were riding for a whole another two hours looking for more 71st members and found a 71st member called Mitch's little brother Mitch's little brother attempted to run into a cab and begged the driver to drive him to safety but the driver refused to move and he was dragged out of the cab and stabbed to death by 51st members Four all within three. two hours of their first murder they committed that night and six members were sentenced to life for these murders then on september 4th 2017 a member from 50 that's four th no that's four four Four, four. First called Flips, and the older brother of the second boy who died that night called Mitch bumped into each other on Hampstead Road in Camden and started getting into a little altercation, which ended with Flips stabbing Mitch in his arm, neck, and back, leaving the knife lodged into Mitch's bones and murdering him. An undercover policeman just happened to witness this whole situation and ran Mitch. down Flips and arrested him. And now Flips is serving 17 years to life for this murder. After this, the beef in Camden went under some serious investigation so five, by four. police, and members from all sides started to get taken down for conspiracies, firearms, and drugs drug charges and the beef started to die down a bit but then 2019 here and quite a lot of the members that were locked up started to come out and taking in consideration that 51st members just before everyone started going in prison and killed three 71st members 71st members started coming out of prison on some demon time and were most definitely looking for revenge with no warnings the first signs that 71st was really back was on a cold tuesday in february 1 a.m in the morning a 51st member called g squeeze was walking past the sainsbury's in camden when a 4x4 crashed into him and several 71st members jumped out on him like a pack of wolves, stabbing him repeatedly in his head and body, leaving him literally paralysed and not being able to walk. But that wasn't enough for 71st members, they wanted someone dead for their friends. So on April 1st 2019, a suspected member of 51st called C Miz and his cousin were walking down Grafton Road in Gospel Oak Camden, when four 71st members jumped out a stolen black car and started chasing them. C Miz and his cousin split up, but unfortunately the men who jumped out of the car locked on to C Miz, and C Miz ended up dropping to the ground when the 71st members started to stab him repeatedly with machetes and so what's that's five five i lost count y'all i lost count i think it's five five y'all not out running these dudes anyway they are from what i heard they all used to play soccer and they were all great athletes they fast so if you get in the if you get in the jam with with more than one of them more than a one-on-one -on -one attack that's tough uh Hope you fast.
to then run from the scene. After this murder, 71st members made a song called Congo. And the reason why they called it Congo is because C. Miz was actually a refugee from Congo after him and his family fled the war from over there. And members repeatedly in their songs say that they get their weed from Congo, not Cali. Pretty much just trying to say that they're smoking on C. Miz. And as I said before, Hey, I want to let both of you niggas know, 51st and Active Gang, I'm just here reacting to this because I need to for my for my knowledge. Y'all beef is between y'all beef and I'm just an outsider looking in. And I don't need no disrespect to nobody. I really don't care. Like, I don't. Like, that's it's... But I gotta know. I gotta look. I gotta look. I gotta watch it. Y'all know. <laughs> Boy, the majority of these 71st members are Somalian. So? Because I'm, I'm not one of these average internet goers that just watch and think it's, ah, ha, ha, let me get in the comments and type, oh, oh, smoking on this, smoking on that. Because I know niggas really dying behind these. Mothers really crying behind this. And, and you know, the beef is really over a watch. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just here, just reacting, man. I'm, I'm one of them, so I know what this shit really hold behind it. It hold a lot of weight, so. So with this, there was news going about in Camden that 51st members are out on the lurk and any Somalian they see, they're killing. I've heard some really strong intelligence that there is going to be revenge for Calvin's killing and his friends are... My man Kid Nerd got a whole audio file what bureau of investigation is he working for? God damn. I've literally <laughs> said they are going to go out and kill Somali any Hala? Somali Sub in retaliation. Sub so Hala? I just want to make that really clear. This is from the a young Somali woman in Camden Somali. who's 24 years old. And basically they are, basically we um, strongly suspect they're going to go out tonight and kill a Somali. Which is probably a bit of a stretch. But on the other hand, 71st members kept saying that they're warring with Jaliz, which is basically the Somalian word for West African people. Because you have to remember, despite Somalians being dark-skinned and African, a lot of Somalians don't really see themselves the same as other black people. So this was kind of turned into a race war between Somalian and black people in Camden. Okay. Which is just all wrong for so many reasons. But 71st weren't like happy enough with the killing of C. Miz. They wanted to spill more blood. So August 12th, 2019, six members started circling the states of 51st members in a stolen Ford Fiesta and a stolen Sia. When they spotted 16 year old culprit and other members coming out of a restaurant around 10.30 p.m. Culprit and other members ran to a nearby set of blocks near Houston Road. But 71st members found them later on that night and three members jumped out and chased them down. Catching up to the 16 year old 51st member called yeah, Culprit. Yeah, Culprit was running for his life and literally screaming for help, banging on neighbors' doors to let him in so he could escape his attackers. But when the 71st members caught up to him, two 71st members held him while a third member repeatedly pushed a one foot long. God damn! Oh my god! Why? A zombie killing that through his chest while it was coming out of his back. And when the 71st members were done, the killers were his chest and out his back. Were like, what? your mind has to be different. There's so much going on, there's so much noise, there's so much. Ugh. was said to be running away after laughing hysterically which is what bystanders said and culprit he was just any normal kid from london he was talented at football and even had trials for southampton football club but started getting involved in the local gang and brushed aside his football and unfortunately became a victim of the streets now as these back and forth normally go 51st were now looking for revenge on their recent hours and there were many stabbings across the month and early on in september there was a case of three killings in five days in camden one of these being a man from a completely different area all the way in east East London but unfortunately he was walking at the wrong place at the wrong time so he was actually walking on Queen's Crescent estate which is a hotspot for 51st yeah. members and was shot and killed in a drive-by being mistaken for a 51st member just an hour before another woman was stabbed to death ass blur. just a few hundred yards from the situation and four days later a 71st member called Nuts was stabbed to death by a gang of 51st members with machetes outside one of the busiest areas in London Camden Tube Station and for the longest a lot of people didn't even know all this stuff was going on until 
a 71st member called Suspect started jumping on the drill scene, calling that himself the not... Camden Grim Reaper and releasing some of the most disrespectful tunes towards his ops. So much that police take down pretty much any song that the gang uploads, which really started to bring some attention to what's happening down there and definitely got the attention of me. Especially a song from Suspect called Dugout, which is probably one of the most disrespectful songs I've ever heard and really makes you deep how tapped this whole beef is. In one of his lines, he says, Same place we used to play run outs, the same place as chess got dug out. Same place I was telling you play out, it's the same place I'm telling you come out. Which really makes you think, damn, these guys were close friends at one time and now they're trying to kill each other. All stemming from a little small altercation that happened a couple years back. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's video and peace out. At the end of the day, man, hey, I gotta tell you, like the people that do these videos, it be really sounding like y'all be picking sides, so y'all gotta be careful, man. I'm not here to pick no sides, man. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. I'm gone.